The Rockford Ice Dogs welcoming the Chicago Wolves to BMO Harris Bank Center this afternoon for Martin Luther King Jr. Day as they continue on this season-long six-game homestand. Hello, everybody. Joseph and Zach Shesky back with you for this episode of Ice Dogs Warm-Up. Coming up on the program, we're going to hear from an Ice Hog alum, Andrew Shaw, who recently celebrated his career with the Chicago Blackhawks a couple of nights ago. And we'll also take a closer look at a very special night coming up for your Ice Dogs Autism Awareness Night next weekend on Saturday against the Texas Stars. But today, it's the Ice Hogs and Chicago Wolves going toe-to-toe for the seventh time this season. It's always brought up some great hockey, so why not have it a matinee showdown? And let's take a look at today's updated Central Division standings. The Ice Hogs enter the afternoon with a record of 14-12, 1-1, one and sit in the middle of the pack of the Central Division, looking to gain some ground against the Chicago Wolves team that has been leading everybody, practically leading the entire American Hockey League, a 23-6, 2-1 standing. For the Chicago Wolves, they suffered tough losses to the Iowa Wild over the weekend, but still hold the top spot. Manitoba sitting in second. Grand Rapids leapfrogging the Ice Hogs thanks to victories against the Moose, in large part to overtime success. Iowa in fifth, Milwaukee, and Texas rounding out the rest of the division standings. For the Rockford Ice Dogs, it's been home sweet home as of late. Today is game number three of a season-long six-game homestand. They'd welcome in the Cleveland Monsters to BMO Harris Bank Center on Friday and Saturday and would split the weekend series. The Ice Dogs with a big 5-2 victory on Friday, led by Ford Dylan McLaughlin with his three-point effort, but would come up short on Saturday, 5-4. It would be another big multi-point performance for an Ice Hog. Defenseman Alec Regula would grab four assists, and he is the second Ice Hog skater with a four-point game this season that ties a season. And high. You only have to go back a couple of weekends to Lucas Reichel's four point game in which he would grab two goals and two assists against the Chicago Wolves in an eight to nothing victory right here at BMO Harris Bank Center. It's the first time we've seen Ice Sox skaters grab these four point games since 2015. So, certainly a sight to behold and a great performance to witness the other night for Alec Regula and his four assists. It was also the power play that was really clicking well for the Ice Sox despite the loss. The Hogs would have a season high three power play goals in the effort. They'd go three for five in the contest and are now entering today on a power play goal scoring streak of four games. And for Dylan McLaughlin is keeping up his point streak alive and well. He would score late in that contest on Saturday night to pull the Ice Dogs within one on a six on three power play goal and extends his point streak to four contests. Now two goals and five assists over that run. For the Chicago Wolves, they enter today's matchup with life on the road as their background. It's game number three of a five-game road trip for them. They were just out in Des Moines, Iowa to take on the Iowa Wild on Friday and Saturday. But the top team in the Central Division would come away winless in both of those contests. 0-1-1, and a 4-3 loss on Friday, just the sixth regulation loss for the Wolves this season. Hard to believe that, but then they would suffer an overtime loss, 3-2 overtime on Saturday, in which the longtime NHLer Eric Stahl would grab the game-winning goal for the Iowa Wild. And that overtime loss also saw the end of a four-game point streak for the leading scorer in the American Hockey League in Andrew Podorowski. Five goals and five assists over that four-game run, but he leads the American Hockey League by a long shot. 44 points going into that contest. And in fact, he and the Chicago Wolves had the top three scorers in the American Hockey League entering the weekend as Podorowski leading everybody, but also Stefan Nason and C.J. Smith occupying the second and third place spots. So the Wolves have a lot of firepower, and they're going to certainly want to shake Take off those frustrations after the tough losses to Iowa as they come into Rockford this evening. As for the head-to-head -head series goes, the Ice Hogs have been really successful, believe it or not, against the Chicago Wolves. Despite all of Chicago's successes, they have not come against the Rockford Ice Hogs. Today is the seventh of 12 meetings between the two clubs. The Ice Hogs a 4-1-0-1 head-to-head record and are, in fact, riding a four-game point streak against this Chicago Wolves bunch. Their only setback was a shootout setback during that stretch, so the Hogs have been very successful against their in-state rivals, and it's their first meeting since that crazy 8-0 victory the Ice would have right here at BMO Harris Bank Center back on January 7th. We just talked about Lucas Reichel's four-point game, Alec Regula the four-point game the other night. So now the Ice Hogs hoping to tap into that high-scoring magic again against the top club in the Central Division in the Wolves. And in fact, reflecting back to that 8-0 contest, it was the most goals the Ice Hawks have ever scored against Chicago in this head-to-head -head series, and the most goals they've ever scored since they would battle Iowa in an 8-3 win back on February 8th, 2014, and they were just one goal shy of tying the overall team record. So we'll see what the Ice Hawks can muster up this afternoon at the BMO. 
It's going to be another fun afternoon at BMO Harris Bank Center as the Ice Dogs and Chicago Wolves always bring out some of the best hockey we see all season long. Well, coming up on Ice Hog Warm Up, we're going to hear from an Ice Hog alum and Andrew Shaw, who was just honored at United Center a couple of games ago. We'll also take a closer look at one of the upcoming promotions for your Ice Hogs this coming weekend against the Texas Stars on January 22nd. The Ice Hogs celebrating their 11th annual Autism Awareness Night. It's going to be an absolutely incredible evening at the BMO, so stay tuned for more there. But for right now, it's the Ice Hogs and Chicago Wolves in this matinee matchup at BMO Harris Bank Center. So stick around for more Ice Hogs warm up.